While there are several notable CSS preprocessors available, I'd focus on these three widely used and popular options. 1. SAS, Syntactically Awesome Style Sheets. Key Characteristics, offers two syntax options, indented, similar to Python, and colon based, like traditional CSS. Provides features like variables, mixins, nesting, operations, and partials. Has a large community and ecosystem of tools and frameworks. Pros, flexible and readable syntax options. Extensive features for organization and reuse. Active community and rich support. Cons, compilation step adds complexity to workflow. Can be verbose with certain features. 2. Less. Key characteristics, uses a colon-based syntax similar to traditional CSS with curly braces. Offers features like variables, mixins, nesting, and functions. Has a more mature and stable feature set than some newer preprocessors. Pros, familiar syntax for CSS users. Stable and well-tested features. Widely supported by tools and frameworks. Cons, syntax can feel verbose compared to other options. Feature set might not be as extensive as some newer preprocessors. 3. Stylus. Key characteristics. Uses a more concise and white space based syntax like CoffeeScript. Offers features like variables, mixins, nesting, and functions. Relatively newer but gaining popularity with its cleaner syntax. Pros. Very concise and readable syntax. Growing community and adoption. Emphasis on clean and modern styling practices. Cons. Newer preprocessor with potentially less community support and tools. Syntax might feel unfamiliar to traditional CSS users. Ultimately, the best CSS preprocessor depends on your specific needs and preferences. Consider these factors. Project size and complexity. Larger projects can benefit more from the organization and maintainability features of preprocessors. Personal preference. Choose a syntax and feature set that you find comfortable and productive. Team familiarity, if collaborating with others, consider their experience and which preprocessor they're most familiar with. I hope this comprehensive overview helps you choose the right CSS preprocessor for your next project.